All right, about 2.15, there's a quick update on what's happening out there right now. This is going to be by far way more of a rain event than it is going to be a wind event for all of Virginia. We've already surpassed the record here in Richmond, and we're on the low end of some of the rainfall totals that we've seen over to the east. We do have a tornado watch that remains in effect until 8 o'clock for all areas over to the east. Here are the latest uh, particulars with Andrea moving northeast very, very quickly at 28 miles an hour. Sustained wind is still at 45 miles per hour, so it's still a tropical storm. It's 180 miles south, southwest of Richmond. The track has shifted back to the west, so it's going to move pretty close to the Williamsburg area later on this evening. And you can see the loop of rainfall here between Richmond and uh, down to the Norfolk area. We have a swath of very heavy rainfall here. We have a pretty dangerous situation setting up for flooding across this area. And you can see Richmond area is still some moderate rainfall up this way, but it gets very heavy down 64 near New Kent, Talliesville and Quentin, down to Roxbury, Charles City, and then once you get down to Disputanta and farther south through Waverly and Wakefield, very rough ride across not only 64, but 60, Highway 249 as well, then down across Highway 460. And these rain bands continue to move north across the same areas, some lighter amounts of rain back to our west. Again, here are the rainfall totals. The purple areas that you see here, that is four to five inches of total rainfall and heavier rain will fall in these areas. And when you look at the purple areas and consider that we're about two inches at RIC, that really shows you the difference of this one band right here. So very dangerous flooding conditions setting up across the region. Again, we'll be tracking the potential for a few tornadoes, but that flooding threat is going to be the main issue for us. And this rain will not end until late tonight. I'll have another update a little bit later. Stay with CBS 6. We'll keep you ahead of the storm.